Four of them I paid out of pocket. This Toronto mom tracks her grocery bill down to the penny. Even if it changed by five cents, I'm going to notice. With six kids, the bills add up quickly. So Kanisha Harry uses couponing to stretch her dollars further a strategy she shares with others on social media. Let's go to Freshco. Usually that was the cheapest. That skyrocketed. I remember the prices used to be 177, then it went to 188, 199, and then it went to 229, and now it's 249. She's one of many Canadians trying to cope with rising food prices, with the price of meat up almost 10%, while dairy costs are more than 5% higher. When you're feeding thousands of people, those percentage points uh, really create a challenge. For this Ontario food bank, the higher prices are the latest blow after higher demand. The pandemic created a extreme challenge for us. We saw a, a, a sharp increase in the number of people that needed our services. Canadians are also paying more for gas, cars and shelter. And the price pressures are a concern worldwide, driven by global supply chain issues, factory closures and strong consumer demand. Some economists say the situation could last longer than expected. It seems that uh, these sorts of uh, issues can, can run all the way until the second half of 2022. And if uh, that's the case, that uh, would, would mean that we have higher price pressures uh, for, for many months now. So for many households, the higher cost of living isn't going away anytime soon. For now, Harry isn't too worried, as long as she sticks to her plan. I just make sure that each week I get to my flyers and I look for my flyers. Even when I am tired, I still do it because I know if I don't, I'm going to go to the store and pay full price for product. Okay, so Nisha, the Bank of Canada is certainly keeping a close eye on today's inflation report. When will we hear more? Andrew, the central bank governor admits that this bout of inflation has been more persistent than expected, but maintains that it's temporary and will ease once supply chains get back to normal. Still, if inflation continues down this path, it could force the bank to hike interest rates sooner rather than later. We'll watch for any change in tone from the bank when it releases its economic outlook next week. Andrew. Okay, thanks, Nisha. You bet.